I wanted to start this video with a ton of curvature jokes, but I'm a father of two now. I'm a mature individual, so I'm gonna try and get to these jokes without any innuendos. Let's try it. It's about the iPhone 8 lacking the curve. And I'm not talking about the iPhone 7S and the iPhone 7S Plus. It also might come in September. I'm talking about the Big Daddy iPhone 8, 5.8 inch OLED, crazy thin, rocking a ton of new features. So now according to KGI Securities and backed up by the folks at Mac Rumors, we're going to have a flat iPhone, but as the iPhone gets longer, suppose I'm fighting the urge, as it gets longer, we should have a different aspect ratio, similar to what we saw with the G6. Not sure if it's going to be 18 by nine or two by one, as I like to call it, as, as it probably should be called, the aspect ratio will change. So this kind of harkens back to previous iPhone rumors where it gets built up to be this most amazing phone ever. It's going to change the world. Then it ends up being announced and it's just like another iPhone except the home button's removed or you can force touch the screen. I'm hoping that the iPhone 8 is going to break that model and that mold that we've seen in the past few years and bring something awesome to the table. Apple says millions of phones are iPhone models from the best selling in the world, but at some point, at some point, people are gonna start looking elsewhere. Those folks that still buy iPhones in droves are gonna be looking at the competition, looking at what the S8, SA Plus are gonna be. They're looking at the G6, but look at the competition and see something awesome that they're going to want to have. So the good graces and goodwill of Apple, I think is potentially fading. Other rumors we've heard that could make the phone a big reason to buy it. The home button's going to be gone, but the whole screen should in fact be the home button. Whether it's gonna be the synaptics technology we've seen or something different, that could be a killer feature that helps Apple reinvent themselves. Other things we expect, wireless charging built in, better optics, and a thinner, lighter design with hopefully improved battery life and quick charging. I'm not trying to bash Apple here. People like to think I'm pro Apple or I hate Apple. I'm pro technology. I like to call a company and a product out kind of as I see it, regardless of how I feel about them. In kind of a TV news format, I wanted just to talk about it, tell you guys maybe not expect a curved display, and also open a discussion to you What's the killer feature you want to have in the iPhone 8? And the 8, by the way, is a model that's supposedly gonna cost about $1,000, so bear that in mind. Is not having a curved screen like a Galaxy S Edge, whatever model number it's going to be, is that enough to deter you from, from not buying one? Or like the LG G6, it doesn't have to be curved to look sexy. I'm trying to lose some weight so I, I can say the same thing. Let me know down below, what's the killer feature you wanna have? To either stick with the iPhone, or to go back to the iPhone, or go to the iPhone for the first time. And for the comments of the day, after reading countless comments about whether or not I look fat, whether or not I look tired, whether or not where my hairline is running to, I'm picking a good one to make me feel good about myself. It's from Miss Enlightened One, who just says, you're hot, exclamation point. I'm gonna take it. It's probably a spam account, she says that to everybody, but I'm still, I'm still gonna take it, because like, I can feel good about myself some days. Thank you guys for watching. If you want any featured upcoming comments of the day, leave a comment. We'll link to your channel in the description and you could get subscribers and be well known and make your parents proud. Thank you guys for watching.